I feel like there was no justice whatsoever. A Lexington mother losing faith in the justice system after a judge's decision to lower Amber Whitaker's bond on a murder charge today. Whitaker is the woman who crashed into a State Department of Transportation truck back in June on Fairview Drive. Whitaker is 35 years old. Police say she was driving with methadone in her system while she had four children in her car and one of those children died in the crash. Fox 8's Caroline Boyer spoke to that child's mom today. Caroline, how's she handling this news? Neil, Brandy Nichols tells me this is bringing up a lot of emotions for her and her family. They're worried Whitaker could be able to get out on bond, something they do not want to see happen. I'm not happy whatsoever about the whole situation. I don't think she should have a bond, period. In a Davidson County courtroom Monday, a judge reduced Amber Whitaker's bond from $500,000 to $75,000. Whitaker's attorney Paul Bollinger tells Fox 8 the judge's decision to lower her bond is within the guidelines established by the chief district court judge and senior resident superior court judge. The news of a reduced bond hitting Brandy Nichols' family hard. It is very unfair. I mean, it's not just Jaden, but for my son, for the other two children that was also involved. It's all four of them. Four children, all under the age of 16, involved in that accident on June 21st. Two of the children are Whitakers. The other two belong to Brandy. Her daughter, Jaden Smith, the eight-year-old sitting in the back middle seat of the car, sustained injuries in the accident too severe to survive. We are so grieving for the loss of my daughter. It's been rough on every single one of us. Driving down Fairview Drive, you wouldn't notice it was once the scene of that deadly crash. The grass has grown back where tire tracks once were, but Brandy's memory of that day hasn't faded at all. There is no words to describe the pain that each and every one of us feels that we go through every single day. Two months later, the memorial for Jaden still stands along the road. It's a reminder for Brandy that despite Whitaker's bond being lowered, the fight for justice is far from over. I just feel at this point in time that these four children, especially Jaden, is not getting the justice that she needs. Whitaker is expected to be in court in October. Tonight, we're also getting an update on her four-year-old daughter, Gracie, who was injured in that crash. Gracie's father tells me she just got out of the ICU about a week ago. She is paralyzed from the neck down and might not be able to breathe on her own ever again. He is also not happy about Whitaker's bond being reduced and plans to fight for both Gracie and Jaden to get the justice they deserve.